Oh man, look at my beautiful bees. Oats for bees. It's simple math. I'm, I'm glad I got new pets on the farm. I'm glad. Ah! No, 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 no. I thought the bees were happy. Oh, run away. Oh my goodness, did you see all those bees trying to come after me? Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's me, Jimmy, back with more Vintage Survival here in Colonia. And today we have lots to do on the farm. As you noticed uh, just now, we have bees now. We traded our crop of oats because we didn't have a lot. And uh, our neighbor, Robert, has some horses that love oats. So I traded my oats for some basic beehives not a lot of bees, but they are producing a little bit of honey to sell at the market. And I put up this handy dandy uh, shelving system. That way we can uh, take our honey. But I just realized we don't have any way to transport it because we don't have a flat trailer. So we might have to look at getting a flat trailer to take pallets places. But today is the day that we waited for all these months the canola is ready to harvest. It doesn't look like it's going to yield quite a lot, but canola is canola and harvest is harvest. That way we can make big money here in canola, canola in Colonia. So first things first, we got to jump in the old Massey that we bought back in December to harvest this, this beautiful grain and uh, we're going to pull out the plow and we're going to meet these two fields to make one mega super field. And then once we get that done, we'll flip it. We'll pick up rocks. We'll do whatever we got to do to make sure both of these fields are ready to go and spend whatever money we need to to make a absolutely almost 100 percent yield when it comes to these beautiful crops. So let's get the old Massey Ferguson started. Ooh, listen to it purr. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So it's time to get our canola. We've been waiting a long time for this canola to grow. I don't think. Well, didn't know that was there. Uh, we've been waiting a long time for the canola to be ready to be harvested. And today is the day. This is the first thing we put down way back when we first started over here. So let's go ahead and hold on a second. Are there more stumps? Do I got to call somebody? Is there a stump here? Is there a stump here? I can't see. I think there's a stump here. It's in these bushes. Where's the stump at? Is that it right there? We'll get it out of the way. All right. Now it's time to get this beautiful canola harvested and see how much we're gonna get out of this hopefully the massey makes it up this hill and we didn't sell the vestula for nothing just kidding we needed something better i think these hills just give these harvesters quite the run for their money but let's go ahead and get the canola harvested see how much we've got in our tank and uh see what we can sell it for We have one little stripe left and uh, over 2,000 liters of canola. I'm not sure what I want to put down. We have to see uh, exactly what we're going to do when we flip these fields. Um, I think we'll grow the same. Cr At least, you know, this is going to be one crop. The one over there, we'll see what we can put down. But there we go. 
2,284 liters of canola. I think that's going to hit the jackpot. I think we're going to make a lot of money out of this. So let's go over here. We'll drive the harvester this way. And we'll put our pipe out and get ready to dump the canola. Let's see what the canola prices are looking at, actually, uh, while we're here. Canola is down right now because we are in... So it, uh, November is the best time to sell. So I believe if we're going to sell anything, it's probably, probably got to be today. And uh, Osada is going to give us the most. So let's go ahead and hop off. We'll go over here, get on the dutes, pick our forks up. That way we don't drag the ground. We'll grab this and we'll probably make our way over to the train station to rent. Uh-oh, 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 running over our uh, our fertilizer. We're definitely going to need that. Definitely going to need that. So we'll go ahead and pick this up, drive around here. I have never rented the train here in uh the game so this is gonna be new to me so we'll definitely fill this up with some tasty canola it shouldn't fill the whole thing up it will not 81 percent so let's go let's make our way over to the train station which will take the back way and go run us a train so we can go ahead and uh, get this canola sold, see how much money we have after this, because we're probably going to have to pick up a few items to make these fields better. So I'll meet you over at the train and see what we can do. All right, so it appears we have rented the train. We have to dump our stuff real quick. From what I remember, you dump your crop in here, and then you jump in the train, and then you are able to... We'll start overloading our canola and once the train comes back we fill the train up with our canola and then we we uh send it over to asada to make a uh delicious profit and it, it is rented by the hour but uh, again i had uh somebody uh i will definitely put their name up above in this video uh showing me what you can do for the time where is oh there's the train hello train Let's go ahead and jump in this train, fill up our canola. There we go. Train conductor extraordinaire. We'll get this going. We'll see which one, I believe it's the second car that we have to fill up. So we have to stop it there. Go ahead and put the brakes on, put the brakes. I think right there. So I think it's this one. Uh, let's see. Canola, start. Fill the canola. Okay, there we go. We don't want to overload, so we, we do have canola. Only 1%. Our canola took 1% of that train car. Not bad. This is our first train run. We'll go ahead and take this down to Osada. We'll take a look at the countryside as we go. Beautiful, beautiful map. Colonia is probably one of my favorite maps to play on. If you haven't played it, I'm, I, I think you should. And there's some of the different farms that we have uh, done. Very nice. Very Oh, that field that we fertilized or that we limed looking absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and head on. Oh, we got some cows. Some more cows. Let's make our way to Osada. Yes. And we made $4,900. In canola that puts us at 13,508 so let's run back to our tractor and get back to the farm so we can go ahead oh excuse me excuse me sorry I am a train toot toot let's make our way back to the tractor all right we've made it back over to the farm and uh yeah we we definitely definitely have made some progress we'll jump in this we'll put the massy back so it's not in our way we do want to plow it I don't think it should take long to plow this. Like I said, there's only a couple things that we need to do here for uh, to make these fields complete. So let's see, let's see what we need to do. We need to bring it over this way. Probably, do we need to take these trees down? I might take these trees down and save the wood for later. I'll pile it up. But let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this all plowed up, and then we'll go ahead and flip it and get ready for seeding. All right, we have the field connected to the other field now. 
we got we just extended this this one this little part right here just a little bit over just just to grab a little bit more uh area for us to plant and drill our crops um these bushes that are in the ground they seem to be uh where they want to be and i can't i can't remove them and i did leave a little part over here um this part right here that way we have enough room uh to do things and you know i, I went over a little bit in their yard but you know what eh, i don't really worry about that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and put our plow down we need to cultivate because we got to flip the field so we can pull out our cedar that way we can oh i fell in that hole help me <clears throat> so we need to get our cultivator out cultivate our fields that way we can get the cedar out we might need to run to the store. I don't know how much time we're going to have left. But we definitely need to get our uh, fertilizer. And we have lime. Well, we need lime. That's what it is. We need lime. So we need to make sure we have that. So let's go ahead and cultivate this real quick. It shouldn't take us long. The cultivation process is normally the quickest part of all of this. Especially when you have a nice little tractor like the one I have here. The Dutes. And we'll go ahead and uh, get all this pulled up. That way we can replant. But uh, January is it's uh, probably one of our busiest months. Like I said, we still need to figure out what we're going to lay down in these fields uh, moving forward. I don't know. I mean, we made a, a pretty penny on canola. If we had a full yield of 100%, it probably, probably would have been better. I mean, of course, it would have been better because it would have been 100%. But that's okay we'll we'll figure that out so let's go ahead and get this field cultivated real quick and uh, uh see how how nice it looks The snow's really coming down. I, I, I don't know how. It's 43 degrees outside. But the snow is coming down hard. And this is taking a, a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take to get this field cultivated. I don't think we're going to have enough time in January uh, to get seed down and to fertilize and lime and all that and take care of rocks. So, I mean, it, you, you want to try to get it down. But in these conditions, I think we can wait till February. Hopefully the snow dies down. 
That way we, we have a, a nice, uh, beautiful, sunny day to take care of all this stuff. Um, and like I said, I don't, I don't want to rush the fields because I, I want to get the most out of, uh, out of the yield. So I think we'll hold off till February when the conditions get better and we actually have time to, uh, get the fields the way prepared, the way we want them to. Like I said, I'm in no rush. It is January. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get everything drilled when we can. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, unfortunately I didn't know it was gonna snow today. I guess I should have checked the weather report, and I did not. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. So let's go ahead and um, take care of all this. I'll go over in the next field and get that cultivated. Also, I really wish these uh, these plants that came with my property would go away, but they they just seem to to hang on, and I don't know what to do. But this field is much smaller than the one we just did. Our brand new, beautiful field. Gorgeous, gorgeous field. We'll get over here and do a little cultivating until dark. It is 4.30 in the afternoon. But with the snow and everything, it looks like it's getting super late. So nothing, nothing a little quick cultivating won't do. But anyway, if you've made it this far into the video, what do you want to see in a, a new series? What are you looking for? Maybe an all-American series? A start from scratch? A challenge? Is there something that you're like, man, I'd really like to see Jimmy do that? Drop in the comments below and let me know what you think. I don't want to, you know, I have so many ideas in my mind on like different series and, and things I want to do. And I'm just afraid that uh, I'm going to get overwhelmed with as many ideas as I have. And then other series will suffer. Like I said, we, uh, the Almond Brothers, there, I, we did record that episode earlier this week. So that will be coming out this week. So I'll have the Milkman, Vintage Survival, and the Almond Brothers on the channel three days a week. But, uh, you know, I, I'd like to take a break between series uh, to introduce something fresh in people's minds and my own mind. Uh, but this is my favorite. And I definitely don't want to, you know, take a, a break anytime soon doing this because I am having fun with the vintage survival uh, just because it's it's a little bit more challenging without having all the fancy tractors and implements and tools that we that I normally have in uh, other series. But just let me know in the comments below. What's something that you'd, you'd be enjoying uh, enjoying seeing? I know somebody had mentioned maybe like an all-American series an American map with nothing but American tractors, implements, the whole nine yards. So uh, I might look into that. It's just finding uh, American made uh, tools and stuff like that, that I'll, that I'll need to download and uh, make sure we're keeping it true to uh, the American. Um, I mean, these lights are terrible, but the American aesthetic of the map. So we're almost done with this. We're almost done. January has come. January has gone. Um, these rocks. We're definitely going to have to pick up a rock collector next month. We're going to have to pick up something. That way we can spread lime down. We got plenty of seed. We should be able to drill with what we have. And we have plenty of fertilizer. So that should not be an issue when it comes to what we have inventory-wise over here on the farm and we have bees and i know we have to figure out what we're gonna do to transport the pallets uh away and get those sold somewhere but we'll, we'll like i said this all we'll all let take a look at that we'll we'll figure out february we'll figure out february next time and what we want to plant i'll do a little research make sure we're doing the the best we can to get the the highest amount of money out of all this oops i drove in your yard i'm sorry my bad sorry just kidding i'm gonna buy your property soon soon your property will be mine i think in depending on what we have left over with um with purchasing what we need to start getting uh the farming going uh see how much that field is over there and see what we have left over might run a couple of contracts uh depending on the time in february and that way we can maybe pick up another field and have a few fields going and that way we can have them in rotation that way we don't have down months because these are these both these fields will be at the same time but i like to get some in rotation that way we constantly have a flow of crop 
to harvest and sell. So that's my idea for purchasing maybe the one to my right where the corn is and then the one to my left. Because I'm going to buy the city block. I'm going to own the city block and it's going to be great. I know it's getting kind of dark and it's getting hard to see. My goodness, it's 5.30 already. We have spent the entire day preparing. And it's been very, very productive, like I was saying. All right, just a couple more rows and then we can get in the house. If the snow, I'm, I'm not really dressed for this kind of weather. The flannel's not really cutting it right now. I can feel it in my bones. Feel it in my bones, 38 degrees, snow, wind blowing east to west. 47 miles per hour man life of a farmer here in colonia might as well call this colonia sorry i won't make jokes like that ever again all right it's officially too dark to see the sun is behind the clouds behind the snow this is the last strip right here of the old swaths from the oats and we will be done all right that's it we're finished for the night. Let's go put our tractor away underneath the overhang because I cannot see anything. I'm glad I don't have crops planted. Okay, there's the road. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's go ahead and get this. Maybe we should put some, some, some lights up. What are you doing walking around? Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's like, I don't care about the cold. Snow? Nah. Nah, short short sleeves anyway thank you so much for watching be sure to leave a like a comment and think about subbing to the channel we are so close to our thousand sub goal so close we can taste it but again i appreciate all the support and all the series especially this one be sure to take care of yourself and good night